Okay, today mommy's going to show you how to do mind mapping and this is some a skill that mommy just learned about so I want to show it to you. So first thing, we before we read anything, we need to look at the structure. Okay? That means how 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 many paragraph are there? What are the big things in big words? What are the highlighted stuff? The moon appearance. Yes, like the moon appearance. So we saw something big, right? So we're gonna, and we know, we prob from this we know that they're gonna talk about the moon's appearance. Okay, so we're gonna put a break. So we're gonna make a um. Okay, a text right here. Oh, add a comment. No. Oh, right here. This one. Let's make it yellow for something. Cool. Oh. Let add a moon up here. Yeah. Let's do. We do that. A sticky note. A big one. A sticky note. Let's see. This one, this one, okay, there we go. Moon's appearance. Okay, so I spelled that wrong. Okay, so moon's appearance. So that is what we are reading about. So that is the main idea. So it's really big, it's in the middle. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, so the next part. Uh, read it for mommy. Do you ever uh, at the time and not and see the moon? The moon is very long ball. The sun and the sun. Okay, so there. Did it talk about the moon's appearance? Mm -hmm. What What does it say about the moon's appearance? Yeah, okay, so from there we can say put some notes about it. So in the paragraph one, for paragraph one, let's use orange. Okay, you mean like the ball? Yeah, so right here we can use orange and we say big round ball. That, that what? Yeah. Look. Remember what it said? Big round ball that what? That shine and that shine. Shines in the sky. Please sit up straight. Okay. So now we know that first paragraph, or we can even say this. We can say first paragraph. Well, we don't know what the first. So, first paragraph is usually the intro. Okay? Intro what? Intro. Intro means introduction. Okay? So, we say big brown ball that shines in the sky. Right? Yes. Okay, now what, what does it say next? But do you know that the moon. Does it always the change and change and appear over time? And we call that the painting of the moon. Okay, so what else should we, what other notes should we add about this? Moon. The moon does it always the change and change and appear and yeah, so it doesn't always oh, look the same. And then another note that we can add for it is appearance. It's appearance, right? What? And then what else does it say? What 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 does changing its appearance? What what do they call it? The position of the moon? Yeah, so we can say right here. So 
changes his appearance. Let's make this, okay. Changes his appearance right here. Move it over here. How do I move it? Oh, right there, okay. Okay, and right here. And then we say another one is phases of the moon. Right? Now let's read on. Okay, the moon goes to the different places. The moon is different at the different time. Okay, so that's that's the next paragraph, right? Right, right. So the paragraph. Yeah, so we can then say right here the moon's appearance in the second paragraph. What what are they trying? We'll use color green for it. What are they trying to say in that second paragraph? Um, that the moon travels to the town. No. To Wait. the different places. Yeah. So different phases, right? That is the key word. Different phases. What places? Phases are stages. Stages? I never heard that before. Right here. Different phases, which means what? Different time. Looks different. Okay, so. Add a different time. Yeah, so right here we add another green because we're still in the second paragraph. Looks different at different times. So for the third paragraph, we can use another color. Yeah, red. Okay, we can use red. Sometime. Sometime, I yeah, bad boy circle. It's called a full moon. Okay, so right here, it said looks different at different time, right? So it's talking about the look right now. So we, we can say, we can add another sticker for it. What uh, color? Still green. Yeah. And then it say look what what if you summarize what is the key word in this? Sometimes it looks like a big bright yeah. circle. No. Sometimes it looks like a big bright circle. We call this a full moon. What are t a few key words in there? Sometime it looks like a big bright circle. We call this a full yeah. moon. What is the main idea of those two sentences? What are they trying to talk about? The sometime I look the power yeah then why to it called that a full moon. Yes, so what are important words to know from there? Why circle? What is the big bright circle? When it looks like a big bright circle, what is it called? A full moon. Yes. So right here, the key word there it can be a full moon. Yesterday, a full moon. I don't know. I didn't look at this. So a full moon. Mommy, hang on, can I talk to Norway? No, full moon is when it looks like what? A bad circle. Bright circle, right? Right. Big bright circle. Now, it's like a big flashlight lighting up the night sky. Okay? I so, can it can also be when it's for full moon. When it's a full moon, Mommy, I try to color green. It is like a what? When it's a full moon, it's like a what? Uh, bad circle? No. 
Sometimes it looks like a big bright circle. We call this a full moon. It's like a big flashlight lighting up the night sky. A big flashlight lighting up the night sky. So a full moon is like a... A big flashlight lighting up the night sky. Okay. Light. So we're just going to say a big flashlight. Now, other times... Other time the moon looks like a curved slice. We call this a crescent moon. It's like a tiny sliver of the moon. So what is it called? What is the main thing in here? What is it talking about? That the moon. What type of moon? Not a full moon, but a... A tiny sliver of the moon. What is it called? A curve? Yes, crescent moon. Crescent moon. So here, we have another one. Please sit down. It's called a crescent moon. And what is, how do they describe a crescent moon? By a shape. Yes, what is it? What did they say about it? A, a, a curve. A curved slice, right? A, a curved slice. It's a tiny sliver of the moon, okay? Sliver of the moon. Yeah, that means it's like a cut out. A little bit of cut out. Sliver of the moon. Correct? Okay. So, now the next part. Now it answered your question. Remember you asked why does the appearance change? So now we read about the it. The moon can uh, appear because of the way and move around the earth. Okay, so the what is it trying to explain in this paragraph? The moon appearance change and uh, uh, on, I got me uh, 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 around the earth. Right. So it's it's trying to explain what kind of question? You mean my question? Yes. Is it explaining why, what, where, how, or when? Why? Yes. So why the moon appearance change? Okay. Why does it change? So why does it change? I am move around the earth. The way? The way I move around the earth. Right, so we're going to put another pink one. And we because, because of the way it moves around the earth. Right? right? And then right here, what happens? Read the next part. The moon doesn't have all light, but every flat. The light from the sun and the moon move around the earth. The sun has a different different angle. They make different part of the moon. Visible. Visible. Visible to us on earth and that one is a different one. Okay, so right here, because of the way the moon, what does it do with the sunlight? <laughs> the sunlight has an angle. Okay, the sunlight hits it at different angles. And it, what does it do? Does the sun, moon give off light? 
Yeah. No. What no. did they say? The moon. The moon doesn't have a at all night, but every day. Yeah. So it what? Every day. Light from the sun. Mama, are we almost done? Focus. Okay. So different part of the moon. So the sunlight hit it at different angle, and makes different parts of it visible to us. That's what it said. Makes different part of the moon visible to us, right? Okay. So if if the sun hits shine on everything of the moon, then we see. The whole circle, but if it only shine on a part of the moon, it may only on. We only see a part of the moon. Does it, that make sense? It may um smiling happy face. Yeah, that's when we see the smiling face or the happy face. So right here. Do you remember the moon today appeared bigger? I definitely angle. I let it to your head every. Okay, Mama, so right here. Why, why, where should we put that? Should we put it in intro, different phases, or why the moon appearance change? Why the uh, moon appearance change? Yeah, so what do we write for that? I look at that reading moment. Because of the moon, different angle, different angle of red different angles at which sunlight hit. hits it. Okay, right here we see we. You see a pyramid different different pyramid phases phases of the moon and the full moon and the crescent 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 moon so where is that what is it talking about there seeing the full moon or the set the crescent moon what is it the crescent moon what, what what paragraph is it referring to. Uh, why the moon appears? No. The full moon or crescent moon? Where did we write about that? What color? Red. No. Green. Red is why it, the different faces, how it looks like, is the green. You see? Green, 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 green. Now, green. right here. It's very cool to you. Oh, I just saw it. How the moon came over time. Okay, so that's the over conclusion. Time, over time, that's over time, over time, over time. Shh. So the last sentence is what they are saying to tie it all up. So they talk about, they talk about, they introduce it. Then they talk about how it looks like. At different time and because they this is important we're gonna make it bigger okay so how it looks like at different time then they talk about the why they it changes and then in their conclusion paragraph they talk about this and they talk about this and then they gave a oh. conclusion like oh it's really cool they get uh, an opinion over time, over time, yes. over time, over time. so now so now, um, with the map, mind map, we already map out all the text, okay? Like what we do, and then what we need to do with the mind map is to put pictures in it. So like moon changes over time, okay? So we can look at images, and you can see right here, right? How about that one? Yeah, like that too. Sometimes we see this because the sunlight is only hitting it from this angle. 
No, this is a better picture. So let's copy this or let's copy this picture. Copy image and put it into our map. How do we paste? You um, cannot put it on the area I tell you have to use. No, we can paste. Okay, so right here. So right here. This one, should we put it in Y or should we put in looks or should we put in intro? This intro. picture. No. This is how the moon looks like. So we should put it over here. Okay? And then we can also draw. So right here, from here, we're going to draw, we're going to link stuff together. Oops. We're going to link stuff together. And this is, the, you do this at review time. Okay? So let's do orange. So put a really big branch into intro and color it in. Right here. And the intro goes off to the smaller branches over here. Okay? Then we choose green for moon's appearance to different phases to looks at different time like this and color it in sit up please so different phases means what Time. Yes, you see how with your mind map you can answer that question easily? Yes. And then yes. right here, this is a full moon. So we will move that out so that it looks more like uh, we're going to rearrange this. And this is a crescent moon. Let's make this bigger because that is also important. Okay, so here, so from here, we can choose to branch it off and choose maybe another color, but still green, so maybe a darker green, and so, oops, no, that does not look good, so make it go off into here, and then this go off into here, okay, full moon, it can branch smaller, each time you're going out, you make the branch smaller. That means you make the line smaller. You understand? Oops. So right here, we're going to do crescent moon is um, the crescent moon is like a sliver of the moon or a curved slice of the moon. Right? Mommy, look. I like it. Look. I can see. Okay, so in here, which one is the full moon? That one? Yeah, yeah. So let's make this picture bigger. So let's move this picture in, right? And make it bigger. Make it bigger. And then we can do, we can draw on the picture. So this one that is like a full moon, right? This full moon into here, right? And then where's the crescent moon? Where's the crescent moon? Here. A sliver. A sliver. Like this. That only a little part of it is seen, okay? So now we have that, then we have go over here. So mommy already did these two trick mind map for you. So you're gonna do this one, okay? So this one, make it bigger because it's talking about why. So first you choose a pink pencil. Now you draw it really big, the branch really big from moon appearance over out. Come in. Do it. So I'll show you. 
So from here, this angle, we can make it really big into here, okay? And color it in. Okay, so why is the moon appearance change, right? Yeah. So they give us a few reasons. So make it smaller because, because of what? Uh, because of the, the way and moon around the earth. And then because... Because? Because of the way I move around. We already did that one. What's another way that they do it? They turn head and a different angle and make different part of a visible. visible to us. Yeah, so this one, different angle, that is pretty much the same as this one, right? So we can actually move this down to here and then connect it like that, okay? And then, pretty much what you get is a mind map of what you read. Then you can draw more. No more, no more. Yes, the more you draw, the more you make this pretty and with more picture, the better it is. So for example, why, you can put a question mark, okay? You can put a question mark next to this. And then intro, like, I don't know, maybe like, and then different angle. So you can put an angle sign, right? For that, so you will need, and then right here for the full moon. For the full moon, you can make it full and color it in right here. And the crescent moon, you can make a little like that. And so the more that you draw and the more picture and the more color that you use, when you go through this mind map, then you will be able to understand it easily. Do you understand, Trinity? Yes. Yeah. We're going to do more of this. Um, we're gonna do more of this. And you, wa I want you to start doing this for all of your homework, okay? Okay.